Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to initialize Firebase instance in your Flutter application. In our previous tutorial, we have shown the step to create Firebase project and configure it into the Flutter project. Before you continue this video, make sure you have finished configuring Firebase into your Flutter project. I will pin the previous tutorial on the top right of this video. Feel free to check them out. Now let me briefly walk through what we have in our Flutter project. So we have added a Google services configuration file for Android and also for iOS. In order to initialize Firebase in your Flutter project, we need to add some Firebase libraries into our project. So this is the official website for Firebase Flutter. It's called Flutter Fire. They have listed a list of stable plugins that can be used as a service in your Flutter project. Out of all these available plugins, there is one plugin that is required before other services can be used, which is Firebase Core. Firebase Core mainly used to initialize the Firebase instance in your Flutter project. Without the Firebase instance being initialized, none of the Firebase services can be used. And in this official website, they have provided a direct link to install the library in pub.dev. Now we have added the Firebase core library into our project. Next, we can initialize the Firebase app in the code side. Before the run app function executed, it's very important to make sure that widget flutter binding is initialized. After that, we can call firebase.initialize app. And don't forget to add a wait in front of the initialize app. Now we can try to run the app and see if it's successfully initialized. And now the application successfully launched, but it doesn't show any logs or output in the terminal stating that the Firebase is successfully initialized. So now instead of calling firebase.initialize app before run app, in this tutorial, I would like to introduce you to initialize the Firebase app through Future Builder. Firstly, I'll be creating a future variable to hold the initialize app function. And in our widget, we will return a future builder widget and the future parameter, we will pass in the variable that we created just now. And in the builder, it will return a snapshot. And these snapshots are useful for us to check if the Firebase app is initialized or has error. We can make an if snapshot dot has error and we will return a text widget with error label. And if it has data, we will return a text widget with success label. Else we will return a circular progress indicator. And now when we perform a hot restart, 
we can see that in the scaffold body, it's returned with a successful tax label. And this means that the Firebase instance is successfully initialized. With this information, we can continue to import the services that we wanted to use from Firebase into our Flutter project. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Since now we have successfully configured and initialized Firebase in our Flutter project, we plan to make some tutorials video on using different Firebase services like authentication, real-time Firebase, cloud messaging, and so on. If you have any interested Firebase services tutorial that you would like to know, please feel free to comment below and we will try to plan to make a tutorial video for it. See you in the next tutorial.